Welcome to the channel, everyone. I've got my brother here today. He, he's like the perfect brother. He's <laughs> he's he's in town just enough to where it's um, it's nice to have him around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're you're not like a hey man, we go hang out every day. Every, yeah. <laughs> but I've got to show you this little setup he's got here, little man right in his four wheeler. And we've got lots to go over in this video, but we've got to look at this rig first. So. My brother has an awesome job that he gets paid to travel the country and do what he's doing right now, basically. Right there uh, in the hand, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more involved, but yeah. Yeah, there's more to it, but it sounds a lot cooler if I can just say you travel the country and uh, drink adult beverages for a living. It's a lot cooler. And here is something that him and his wife bought to be able to travel around. Old school Ford van, which we're Ford family, so that's all good. It's got his own little living quarters and everything. He's got his little amp box there to be able to do all of his emails that he needs to do. Oh, yeah. Nice little get up here, buddy. Yeah, he's only 43 years old. Only 43. I mean, that's you and me combined. Okay, not quite, but it's not far, I guess. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. And before this, he's in an ambulance traveling the country, but it was set up kind of the same, just a little more room. It had, a, if you could hook it up to water, it had a shower, right? Yeah. Uh, boom that's our little power hookup for campgrounds and oh that. yeah that's the one that you wanted me to help you with yeah. but i think i was working the day you decided screw it we're doing it yep yeah <laughs> i think it's a heck of a rig and too bad for how old it is speaking of rigs i think i'm gonna get me a new one Ooh. Ooh. what are we getting oh okay actually it's already <laughs> behind the house but we'll let the intro of the video get to that point yeah, just oh man exploring the caves with my brother that's a spelunker It definitely looks like water runs down in there. Which means the water's got to go somewhere. Yeah. So much fun activities for the day. I know, right? Is this a cow bone? Any more cattle bone down there? Oh, oh here we go. Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that could go along with that one that we found a second ago. Woo! You know, it's bad. There's probably like a whole cow, like right here. Just... There, there probably is. I, I feel like you should dig in there and figure out what you can find. And yes, if you all can't tell, my brother is a brother from another mother, being like, you know, 6'1, really skinny, <laughs> thick hair. <laughs> like the blonde version of Clark Kent. <laughs> You're good. Oh, we found an actual cave. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. You think. You think uncle's gonna go in there? Oh wait, I'm zoomed in too much to see him. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean there's just like six thousand gnats flying around. This is where my brother does beat me, everyone. I may be a firefighter and go into tight little areas, but he goes cave diving and stuff into areas where you have to literally <laughs> breathe out to slide through. I'm too claustrophobic. That's where he's got me beat. Stop feeling like a pansy. I don't know. I need to find another. Whenever we were younger, we used to just go get like, what, 20, 30 foot long trees that fallen over and try to stick them down in the hole. <laughs> See how far we could stick them. Here we go, everyone. Welcome to the family. Uh, basically, our lawnmower on steroids, our rider on steroids. Yep, that basically. But I've got to start off with a couple quick things on this. Uh, it is used, but I have a great reason for it. Other than, well, it saved us about seven thousand dollars. <laughs> so I'm trying to show my wife that something you know, a little used, a little beat up, you know, some marks and stuff, and you know, still works just as something that's brand new. But here's why. So my wife now is my sugar mom and she's the one that makes all the money and I wanna make sure she doesn't trade me in for a newer model, right? So we bought this used one, you know, it's got a few hours on it and everything, but 
does everything we need to, just doesn't look quite as pretty doing it. <laughs> Life hack right there. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so this is used. We, instead of buying a brand new one, so you can see BX2380, I mean, like it, it, it's only got 120 hours on it, but this guy, he, he used it pretty hard for those 120 hours. A brand new one of these was about 23 to 24 almost 25 after tax i believe is what i calculate all that up to be we got this one for sixteen thousand dollars so yeah i am gonna have to cut this off and weld a new one on it is a little bit annoying i've already cut the yard some with it to see how it did and there are lines but it knocked my three hour push mowing down to 27 minutes so i think we'll take that right there and no the night in is not gone it is still here still here and kicking but this one had a loader and a PTO and everything that works, which this is still missing a couple of things. I actually have the trailer here because we're going to take it back. They're going to replace this tail light, uh, the proper three-point hitch, which when the guy traded it in, couldn't figure out where he had it. So they're going to replace that for me. And then come on over here and put your little chute guard right there back on. But it's not bad, not bad at all for, for what we paid, in my opinion. This is my first truly usable compact tractor here the 9n it needs some work that one's more of a restoring project i knew we couldn't get too much done with it on the farm but i figured my kids and i can put that one together hopefully faster than the 72 ford <laughs> but that one doesn't need fabrication so we'll be able to knock that one out i hope maybe this summer but we gotta buy some new fender and stuff so it might be like a year-long process just where we're taking our time but this one right here also it came with a quick disconnect loader and everything, which was a big thing. Uh, and because it has a scratch and dent special on it, it uh, it was the same price as one that had twice the hours. It just didn't have all the scratches and dents and dings in it. So it still has six years of warranty on it too. So that works out absolutely awesome for us. But I mean, here I can show you real quick. You were saying, oh, I've already done a little bit of helping my son out here something i wish we, my dad could have done for me when i was little so our topsoil mound here well he plays with my tonkas all the way back from when i was a kid dad got me these so i had to make my own dirt piles well just to help him out he's able to <laughs> he rode the tractor with me and he's able to go ahead and make him a dirt pile so he can start moving it all around and oh man he, he got excited about it he, he got really excited <laughs> If there's any little things you know about these that I haven't figured out, please leave it down in the comments below because this is the first one. It is used. still has a ton of warranty on it, though, because the person before me paid the extra money for the extended warranty. So it's two years old, but he paid for an extra two years on everything. So he still has six years and a year on the loader, a year, six on the powertrain. So I think we're doing pretty good right there. Then from where that wheel is missing, see, whenever it's going downhill, it does leave a little bit of a mark. But I'm still not going to complain. Save $7,000 and knock three hours down to 27 minutes. That's pretty stellar right there. Then back up here we go. And here in a second, I'll give you some big updates on the 72. We actually do have something now. We actually have something. It's good stuff. After four years, we're, <laughs> we have a answer. Uh <laughs> believe that knocks out oh and i'll try to throw a clip in here too first day we brought it here bought it for going ahead and mowing getting i'll try to get the shadow out of the picture mowing and all that next thing i know my wife's making laps took it from me immediately <laughs> so the wife loves it and i am extremely lucky wife bought it for us isn't that stellar right there heck yeah so if she does take it from me i really can't say a whole lot <laughs> But we will go ahead and jump over to the 72 information. All right, guys, for the 72, uh, the reason why I've done nothing after I said I was going to do a whole lot to it immediately, start working on it myself, well, end up going to court over the last issues and how work wasn't done properly, and I got the truck in worse shape. We have won the initial suit, but I still have a lot of work to do to actually get the payment reimbursed. So uh, not to go into any more detail than that, but we are getting somewhere with the truck. And I didn't want to do too much to it and then, then be like, well, we want to go see what it looks like right now for evidence or something. Be like, oh, yeah, I've already done like another three or four grand worth of work to where then it looked like that guy did when he didn't do anything. 
So, but it's not the best update, but it is an update. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you've got any cool things that these tractors, well, uh, riding lawnmower on steroids, are extra good at or some issues that y'all might know of, know of, that'd be great. I am taking them for the service right now to where they will go ahead and go through the full thing because the day I bought it, I was, I was like, trailer's here, let's go. You say I can take it now? I'll bring it back next week. Being that it's under full warranty, they're gonna do a through, or sorry, a thorough inspection of it, make sure everything is good to go, and then hopefully have it back out here by the end of the day. Hopes. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Stop by for the first time. Please subscribe. You all have a great day.